we are going to be going, pulling ticks off tortoises, but then we are going to be taking those ticks and we're gonna be feeding them to my spiny tail iguanas. This is the little doggy, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Hello. I found a tick right here. We're gonna be feeding the tick to Bat. We're just gonna put it right here, let it crawl around and let Bat eat it. What is up everyone and welcome back to another episode, guys. Today we're doing something very cool. Something that I know all of you guys are gonna to wanna to see. We are going to be going, pulling ticks off tortoises, but then we are gonna be taking those ticks and we're gonna be feeding them to my spiny tail iguanas. Spiny tail iguanas can eat protein. No, these ticks don't have Lyme disease. I live in Miami, there's no deer around. The nearest deer are in the Florida Keys, so we don't have to worry about Lyme disease. We don't have to worry about any diseases. Plus, these lizards eat these things in the wild. You know, they're totally fine. So we are gonna go, we're gonna look for some ticks on my tortoises. Now, I haven't seen that many ticks. If the ticks were a big problem right now, I would be seeing them all on the tortoises next, but I haven't been seeing them but I know that there are ticks here. I can guarantee it. So we are going to go. We're gonna look for some ticks on the tortoises. Then we're gonna feed it to my iguana. But first, we have to run to PetSmart to grab a few supplies. Okay guys, we're in PetSmart now. We got my cousin here and we what's need- up? Yeah, what's up? We need to get some lamps for my reptiles because the UV lamps are no longer good. So we got the lamps that we- Come on. We need to get two new, actually three new UVB lights just because the lamps are six months old. Every six months, you gotta replace them so the animals do not get metabolic bone disease. So we're gonna get that, and we need to get some crickets for my lizard. So we got our lights, but we need to get crickets. So I would just go in there myself, but I've been yelled at a couple of times by employees for getting crickets myself. Excuse me, can I get some crickets? Thank you. Guys, we got our UV lights, we got our crickets, and... Oh, hi there. What, Lakin, what are you doing in there? Just chilling, man. You're just chilling? Yeah, I'm just chilling. Lakin yeah. decided to take a nap. Lakin, get out of there. Come on, we gotta, we, we gotta go. We got, we got stuff to do. Get out of there. What are you talking about? This is my crib, bro. That's your crib? Yeah. So we are back from PetSmart. We already put the lights on the tortoises. That's boring. I didn't want to show you guys that because it's boring. But we have crickets right now. We are going to feed the abronia that's hiding in there. He didn't want his super worms. He's hiding in the moss. So we got him some crickets. So let's, let's feed him some crickets. Open. Let's try to, how are we gonna do this? One handed. Okay, there we go. We got it, we got it, we're good. All right, come on, crickets, go. We got the crickets in, everyone's looking good. The crickets are running around. This guy disappeared and I don't know where he is. I know the lighting isn't good, but he's gonna nail one of these crickets. Come on, bud, come on. Right there, get it, get it, get it. Oh, he nailed it. Yeah, buddy, that was awesome. Look at him gnawing, chowing down on that cricket. This guy's a beast. So now that we did feed the alligator lizard, I'm gonna show all of you guys a new rescue that we have here now. He's not staying, he's just, well actually it's a she, my bad, it's a she. She's not staying here that long, but I'm gonna show you guys her, so this little, creature. I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. She was at the shelter and it was going to be put down. So we went, we picked her up. So we were trying to find a home for her. So I'm going to show you her right now. So we're going to go in the room right now. We're going to see the new rescue. Hi. What are you guys doing? We what? Have a new rescue. Yeah. I had no idea that my little cousins were here. I thought the dog was here alone, but this is the little doggy. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hannah, what kind of a dog is this? They say it's a Doberman mix. So they say that this is a Doberman mix. I really don't know. And then we have Milo coming, our other dog. I can hear him. Guys, say hi. You're on the you're on hi. the channel. These are my two cousins. That's Lily. That's London. And they're playing with the puppy. So guys, if any of you are in the South Florida area, you want a puppy, you know someone that wants a puppy, please let me know. We need a home for this little puppy. I mean, how old is it? Like eight weeks? Three months. Three months. Well, that well, eight weeks is two months. So I was I was off by a month, but it's so cute. Look at it. It's so nice. I just wanted to add that this little puppy has all of its shots and it has been spayed. So if you guys want to adopt it or you know someone that wants it, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, guys, we are getting ready to look for more ticks on tortoises right here. That is the small Galapagos. And if you guys remember last time, we pulled two massive ticks off of him. So I haven't checked him in a few weeks. So. He might have ticks, he might not, but we're gonna find out. 
So we got this big guy right here. I got a lot of people in the comments telling me, don't you know that the tortoises can't breathe when they flipped over? Yes, I do know that. But when they're flipped over for short periods of time, it doesn't affect them. You know, whenever a tortoise has to undergo surgery, what do you think happens? They get flipped over and that's how they operate on them. So we're gonna look at his feet right here. We don't see any ticks. I don't see ticks there. I don't see ticks there. Yes, we are gonna flip them over for a short period of time. No ticks, no ticks. So this guy is in luck, he's tick free, which is really good. So this guy right now, well, she, she's getting huge. I've had her since she was the size of a strawberry and just, just look at her right now. It's so cool to watch these guys grow up. She's about three years old now, had her since 2016. So I'm super excited to watch her grow up. So we gotta go right now to the other tortoises. But before we do that, I wanna show you guys something. Come over here. This right here is giant tortoise poops. This is from the bigger galop. So I have these all over my yard and there really isn't anything special about them. There's just giant tortoise turds. So I just wanna show you guys what a giant tortoise turd looks like. It's the size of my hand and it's full of grass. So we're gonna go look now for more ticks on tortoises. So we are at the red foot tortoises. Now we are gonna look for ticks and if we find ticks, we're gonna be feeding them to my iguanas. So let's take a look. Um, I doubt there's ticks just cause there's a lot of mulch, but we still gotta check them anyways. You look tick free, you're looking good. You look like a nice healthy tortoise. What's on your leg? Oh, it's a flower. So guys, I doubt there's ticks. I'm not even really gonna check it because these guys have only had ticks that one time. So I didn't find any ticks on the red foots, but we are going to check the big Galapagos, which has always had ticks on them since we've been checking. You know, sometimes it's a couple, sometimes it's a bunch, but we've almost nipped the problem in the bud. So we're gonna check that now, but we have a banana right now because we're gonna need to lure her out because she's in the bushes right now and I really don't wanna go in the bushes. There she is, she's deep in the bush. So I've got the banana here and I'm trying to lure her out. I know you got a little spook, come on girl. You wanna come? Please, come for me. Guys, we lured her out. We gotta get her set up right over here. Woo, she's a heavy tortoise. There you go. There you go. Ow, my fingers. So we gotta get her a little banana right now. We lured her out. Then I threw the banana this way. We're gonna give her a little banana snack. Oh, she already has some in her mouth. Hey, girl. Oh, wait. I know you want it. Come on. Up, up, up. Oh, my gosh. Yummy. Now, guys, I don't feed bananas often. I do it just for treats and for stuff like this. All right, we're gonna flip her over right now. I hate doing it. We gotta flip her over and look for ticks. We got her flipped over right now. We are looking for ticks and guess what? I found a tick right here. It's a decent sized tick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab it and we got the head. The head is still attached. So we got another tick. Now it isn't huge, but it's a tick nonetheless. So I'm just gonna hold it and I'm gonna keep looking for more ticks. No ticks there, and no ticks here. So we're gonna flip her back over. We are going to go, and we're gonna feed this tick to some lizards. Here is the giant tick that I pulled off the tortoise, and I am going to be feeding it to the spiny tail iguanas. So I'm gonna be putting the tick down and taking out that small iguana right now. So I just got Bat out. I love Bat so much. The reason why we call her Bat is because she likes to hang upside down in her cage, but she's just so calm and mellow. And if you look at her, she's got these insane oranges mixed in with those greens. And eventually she's gonna turn solid orange, but you can see it's just starting that color change. She's still a young animal. So we got the tick right here in this hand. We're gonna take it over to the chair right over here and we're gonna be hand feeding her this tick. Bat is just hanging out on this chair right now, having a good time. And we have our tick right here. So we're gonna be feeding the tick to Bat. We're just gonna put it right here, let it crawl around and let Bat eat it. Oh, 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 she ate the tick. Oh my gosh, Bat, how did that tick taste? That tick looked nice and juicy and delicious. That was awesome. Bat, did you enjoy your snack? I wish I had more for you. Don't worry, that tick was not going to hurt Bat. Where are you going, Bat? Are you crazy? You think you're running away? Don't worry guys, there's no animals with diseases around here and it's been on the tortoise. You know, we don't have deer that hold Lyme disease or anything like that here in Miami, so there's nothing to worry about. 
So guys, that is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you thought of me feeding Bat a tick. We have Bat a little lettuce snack right now. You want that? You want the snack? Oh, that is yummy. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, comment down below. Tell me what you thought about the tick eating. And I want all of you guys, if you have not already, please go subscribe down below. Thank you guys, I love you.